We have created Apple Push Notification Services certificates for development and production purposes, and we're almost ready to make use of them to send push messages. But there are other certificates that we also need to create. And um, one of them is for development purposes and another for production purposes. For example, for production purposes certificate, you will need um, you will use when you want to submit your app to Apple uh, App Store or when you want to distribute your app to testers uh, from your website, for example. And you will also need these two certificates uh, when uh, creating provisioning for profiles. And I will later show you how to create provisioning profiles for your development and distribution purposes, whether through the App Store or whether through your website or uh, test flight uh, with your testers. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and create a new certificate for development purposes. And by the way, if you do have these certificates already, you do not need to create new ones. Just skip this video uh, and uh, continue with the next one. Uh, with the next ones, so don't. Uh, so if you have development certificate and you, if you have provisioning profiles for this particular app already created, don't need to create uh, a duplicates of them. Okay, uh, so I will uh, to create a new certificate for development purposes. I'll click on a plus button here, and uh, I'm I need to select the type of certificates whether I want to create one for development or production purposes, and I need one that's called iOS app development. And I will continue, and here I need to uh, select a certificate signing request. So I will uh, we have already created this file in our previous video, so I will click on continue, and I will need to select now this signing request file. So I'll click on choose uh, file button and my um, signing a request file is uh, stored on the desktop. So here it is. I'll select this file and click on open and click on generate. Now we have our iOS development certificate um, generated and I need to download it to my computer. So I'll click on download it and I already have a couple of them. Uh, so I will um, to install this certificate now to uh, your computer, you need to simply open it and that will install certificate into your um, keychain. So I will um, click on uh, click to open it and then I will switch to uh, my keychain access and I should see iOS developer certificate here. So if I open it, there will be a certificate and there will be uh, the uh, private key. Okay, once this is done, we can uh, minimize our uh, keychain and click on done button. So we complete this process and I can see that I have iOS development certificate already um, created. Here we go. I can download it again if I need to. Uh, now, um, we are done with the development certificate. Uh, we can continue with the production certificate. And again, this one you will need um, when you submit Apple app to the App Store or when you distribute your app to testers. So the process is exactly the same. I'll simply add on plus button and uh, it's going to be production, App Store and ad hoc. And I'll click on continue. I will continue uh, to select my um, sign-in request file, choose on select file, choose the sign-in request file and open it. Okay, and I click on generate. My iOS distribution certificate is created and I need to download it. Okay, the certificate is downloaded. I will need to open it so it can be installed into my keychain. I open it. And then I open a keychain to look for it. And now I have iOS, iPhone distribution certificate, certificate and the uh, private key file. No need to export these files uh, as a P12 files, for example. I just leave them as is. We are done with the certificates. Uh, we are done and uh, we can continue uh, creating provisioning profiles now.